In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through Chapter 3.1, Money and Banking. Firstly, we need to look at one of the forms of money. Our first form is cash. These are banknotes and coins, which are physical forms of money. This is the money that you put in your wallet or your piggy bank jar at home. For very large transactions, these are quite risky and inconvenient. And cash equates for about 3% of the global money supply. The second form of money are bank deposits. This is the money that is stored in your bank account. The benefits of a bank deposit is that you can store large sums of cash very safely. And money can be transferred electronically from bank to bank. Next, we have central bank reserves, and all central banks in the world will have cash reserves that are held by this bank to make payments. They can purchase other currencies, and again, they are stored electronically. And lastly, we have something newer, which are cryptocurrencies. One cryptocurrency is called stablecoins. This is a cryptocurrency that is pegged to a currency to avoid fluctuations. And then the other one is called the Central Bank Digital Currency, also known as a CBDC, in which the central bank directly issues their own digital currency. Moving on to the functions of money. Money acts as a medium of exchange, as it allows people to buy and sell goods and services. Money has to be divisible, as different quantities of money can buy different goods and services. And for firms, products are exchanged for money. And for consumers, money is exchanged for products. Next, money has to be a store of value, as it gives the possibility for consumers to save. Money has to last a long time. It must not deteriorate, and it has to be acceptable in the future. So money is no good when it perishes or rots over a long period of time. Next, it needs to be a unit of account, as it makes it much easier to value an item, as prices are expressed numerically and the value can be measured in a number. And lastly, it is the standard of deferred payment. This means that money allows people to borrow and lend and agreements can be made on the quantity required or needed. Moving on to the characteristics of money. Firstly, it has to be accepted by everyone. This keyword is not in your specification. Countries will have their own currency as legal tender. This means this is the only currency that is accepted as a medium of exchange. For example, the legal tender for the US is the US dollar. Next, money needs to be scarce as there must be a limited supply as money doesn't grow on trees. And if it does, this will cause severe consequences like hyperinflation. Money needs to be durable as it has to last a long time and should be able to be used far into the future. But these days, due to electronic payments, this is less relevant. It needs to be portable. It should be very easily carried around and divided into smaller units. It has to be homogenous, as every single unit throughout the entire economy has to be the same, and the ones that are not the same will not be accepted. Lastly, money needs to be recognisable, as people can easily see that the item is clearly money. Moving on to banking. There are two types of banks. A central bank is a bank for the country and the government. What they do is they issue notes and coins, they manage all government payments, they supervise other commercial banks within the economy, they are the lender of last resort, they manage the foreign currencies and other assets, and they operate the monetary policy. The key objective of a central bank is to keep the economy stable by controlling inflation and how much money is in circulation. A commercial bank is a financial institution that accepts deposits from savings.
They make and receive payments. They give out loans. They help buy and sell shares for their customers. They provide insurance such as travel insurance or life insurance. They also help buy and sell currencies. And lastly, they provide financial planning services to their customers. I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye bye.